Mr. Freeman? Finally, open Looks the door. Looks like you're running late. Yeah, it's because of you. Get out of my way. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Okay, that doesn't look happy. This bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Open the door. You cut the ponytail. Sell out. Thank you for opening the door immediately. Hey, Mr. Wow. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about I don't know, system crash. twenty minutes hmm. ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazmat suit. Yep. Didn't listen to too much of what he was saying, but hazard suit. Lieutenant Hancock. Okay, I get it. You hit me, I hit you, then you get a morphine injection. Oh yeah, that's fair. You don't know me. You know nothing of my work. <laughs> Just like shimmying along the wall here. Oh, would you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Yeah, yeah, I did, asshole. Here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. I'm leaving. Those people are here. Already made plans. Don't worry. Oh, but this is more. No smoking in this area. Morning, champ. I came in here just to do this. Ah, just that? to do this. Good heavens! What the hell? Just to do this. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Mm-hmm. Write you a book. Oh. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Pretty. Put on the hazard armor. Chargers are empty, huh? Shouldn't matter too much anyway. Sprinting through the halls. Just leave me out of this. Shut up. Gordon, you've already done enough damage here. Get to work. There's never enough damage. Not while I'm about. Go right on through, sir. Like you're in the barrel today. Greetings. Oh, sweet. That's one of those spider things, man. I want one of those. I'm rather busy now. Yo, oh, busy doing what? Looking at monitors? Oh. Holy shit, you're famous. Sorry, man. I will leave you alone. Ready? Ouch. Major fracture detected. It's not a major fracture. It is but a flesh wound. The door is open. Oh, I was gonna pick up something to destroy you guys. You better be happy. The paper wouldn't do enough damage. What's up, Doc? Yeah. Look out. Hello, Freeman.
<laughs> You'll never catch me. Ah, Gentlemen. Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. Kleiner. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come dun, on, then. Dun, dun. I want you to why did that guy take on such a weird sound, too? Like, the voice Eli actor started normal, and then he ended up all weird like. For the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon. It's Eli. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes. You get your brain sucked out by an alien. Just... Oh, it's about to go critical. It's gonna go critical, huh? What Use that. What the blazes is going on with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. By Beckrell's ghost. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? Hello, Freeman. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Here oh, he is. What? Can you bring the phone with me? Really? I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. Rare this opportunity. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And purest potentially sample, yes. the most unstable. No, no. As long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. Push it in. Don't, don't look what I'm doing. That. Got it. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely, I just don't. Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. Yes, He's I a do. highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator oh, that highly nothing trained will not go wrong. Yes, you're right, Gordon. We have complete confidence. They don't. They're lying. Well, go ahead. Let's let them in. Don't patronize me. Oops. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. Wow. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. Yes, it the should. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors... Way ahead of that you. That way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. I like how we'll take it from here. Flashlight. Power to stage one emitters in Dormtron 9000. Two, yeah, that's one. a nice name for this thing. Holy shit, that's bright. I'm seeing predictable phase waves. Stage two emitters activating now. 